Jung was a great believer in the dream, and I noted that dreams will tell you things that you don't know. And then I thought, well, how the hell can that be? How the, in the world can something you think up tell you something you don't know? How, how does that make any sense? First of all, why don't you understand it? Why does it have to come forth in the form of the dream? It's like you're not, there's something going on inside you that you don't control, right? The dream happens to you just like life happens to you. I mean, there is the odd lucid dreamer who can, you know, apply a certain amount of conscious control, but most of the time it's you're laying there asleep and this crazy complicated world manifests itself inside you and you don't know how, you, could, you can't do it when you're awake. And you don't know what it means. It's like, what the hell's going on? And that's one of the things that's so damn frightening about the psychoanalysts, because you get this both from Freud and Jung, you really start to understand that there are things inside you that are happening that control you instead of the other way around. You know, there's a bit of reciprocal control, but there's manifestations of spirits, so to speak, inside you that determine the manner in which you walk through life. And you don't control it. And what does? Is it random? You know, there are people who have claimed that dreams are mere, merely the consequence of random neuronal firing, which is a theory I think is absolutely absurd because there's nothing random about dreams. You know, they're very, very structured and, and very, very complex. And they're not like snow on a television screen or, or static on a radio. Like, those things are complicated. And, and then also I've seen so often that people have very coherent dreams that have a perfect narrative structure. You know, they're fully developed in some sense, and so that just doesn't, I, that theory just doesn't go anywhere with me. I just can't see that as useful at all. And so, so I'm more likely to take the phenomena seriously and say, well, there's something to dreams. Well, you dream of the future, and then you try to make it into a reality. That seems to be an important thing. You know, or maybe you dream up a nightmare and try to make that into a reality, because people do that too if they're hell-bent on revenge, for example, and full of hatred and resentment. I mean, that manifests itself in terrible fantasies, you know, those are dreams, then people go act them out. These things are powerful, you know, and whole nations can get caught up in collective dreams. That's what happened to the Nazis, that's what happened to Nazi Germany in the 1930s. It was an absolutely remarkable, amazing, horrific, destructive spectacle, and the same thing happened in the Soviet Union, the same thing happened in China. It's like, we have to take these things seriously, you know, and try to understand what's going on.